This is pick six for the NFL Week 9. It's where I pick six games every week, and uh, it's fun. We look back on it on Monday. It's a great topic. I'm really excited. The first game I want to pick is between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Cleveland Browns in Cleveland. I feel very, very strongly that the Kansas City Chiefs are going to win this game. It's been a hectic, tumultuous week for the Cleveland Browns. And look, I might be wrong. Maybe this goes the other way. Maybe the Browns, all this struggle, lights a fire under them, and they come back and they beat the reigning, they beat the team at the top of the AFC, the Kansas City Chiefs. What I think is more likely is that it's kind of like when you have a busy week at work. Or, or for example, I'm a college student. I'll have a really busy week, and I get to Friday and go, oh, crap, there's still a paper due Friday night. And I turned in a sloppy, lazy, kind of half-assed piece of paper. I think the Browns might be unprepared or underprepared for their game against the Kansas City Chiefs. They really need a week off. They need a bye week to recover from firing the coach and all this turmoil. And they're not going to get it. Instead, they're going to get punched in the mouth by the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm picking the Chiefs to beat the, uh, the Browns. The second game I want to pick this week is the Falcons at the Redskins, again, in Washington. I know the Falcons are banged up, but the Falcons defense is really good against the run. I think Adrian Peterson's not going to have as good a game as normal against the Falcons. I think it's a very close game, a good matchup, but in the end, I'm picking the Falcons to win this game. At some point, the Redskins are going to peter off, and I might be premature predicting this, but I think this is the beginning of the end for the Redskins. The Falcons are a great team. I think they've, they've again, they've struggled with injuries. They're not going to make the playoffs, but they're going to have a valiant win this week against the Redskins. I think they have better athletes, a better defense, and I would be, not be surprised at all if the Falcons beat the Redskins. I'm picking the Falcons, indeed, to beat the Redskins on Sunday. The Steelers and the Ravens in Baltimore. I'm picking the Steelers. It's time for the Steelers to show the NFC North who's boss, the AFC North who's boss. I know the Steelers have issues, but it's time. They're going to say, hey, Ravens, we're the dudes. We're going to win this division. They have better athletes and a better offense. The reason why I'm picking the Steelers to beat the Ravens, because I know the Ravens have a good defense, but does good defense really matter? I mean, how well did that great defense for the Bears, how, how much did that help the Bears against Tom Brady? It didn't. In the NFL in 2018, offense wins games. I'm picking the Steelers to beat the Ravens. They have a better offense, better athletes, and that it's a better team than the Baltimore Ravens. Here's a really interesting game. It's the Chargers in Seattle against the Seahawks. I'm going to go against conventional wisdom. I'm going to pick the Seattle Seahawks. I know I'm probably going to regret it. It's going to be stupid. Watch. What's going to happen probably is the Chargers blow out the Seahawks uh, like 35 to 14. But it's going to be an ugly, rainy game in the Northwest. The key to this game is Seattle's running game. It's very weird. Seattle runs the ball a ton. They've ran 222 times this year, and they've thrown the ball only 182 times. How often does that happen where a team runs the ball more than they throw the ball in 2018 in the NFL? It doesn't. That's not a normal thing. I think the only other team is the, t the Titans, the Tennessee Titans, and they've only run the ball like five more times than they've thrown. The significance, uh, it's like 40 more times for the Seattle Seahawks. It's a big difference. It's a weird di difference. And I would point out the Chargers' biggest weakness is their inability to stop the run. I think Seattle might have a field day running all over the Chargers. It's going to be a really close game at the end, but I think the Seahawks do get the win at home against the Chargers. I know it's against conventional wisdom, taking a chance, picking the Seahawks to beat the Chargers. Okay, this is where it gets really good. There are two games left, and uh, you know the two games I'm about to talk about. First, it's the Saints and the Rams in New Orleans. I'm picking the Saints. I know the Rams are 8-0, um, but I think they're bound for a loss. And I know that makes sense, that they're, they're bound for a loss, but that's not good enough. And if you look at the way the Rams have played, uh, this is still going to be a very close game. I mean, the Rams have been battle-tested, and they've come out victorious every single time. The Rams beat Aaron Rodgers. The Rams beat the Vikings. They beat Russell Wilson. They beat the Chargers. This is an early afternoon game. It starts at 425 Eastern time, 125 in my time zone on the West Coast. But I'm giving the edge to the Saints at home. I think this is kind of a preview of the NFC Championship game. But if the Rams do win this game, it's a massive, massive moment for me to give them respect. I would be shocked. If Jared Goff 
pulls ahead and wins his game in the fourth quarter. An incredibly fun fourth quarter, I predict. Um, it'd be a big win on the resume of the L.A. Rams. But ultimately, I'm picking the Saints to beat the Rams on Sunday. The final game I want to talk about is the Packers at the Patriots. Sunday night football. It's going to be a wonderful game. Uh, this game's really easy for me. I know Aaron Rodgers is incredible. He's a great quarterback. But he needs help. Aaron Rodgers does not have a good enough roster to beat the Patriots. Bill Belichick, they have a better defense, better running game. The Patriots are better in every phase other than quarterback. And that the difference between Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers, look, we're... <laughs> What are you arguing over here? It's like arguing over two huge engagement rings. They're both great. It doesn't matter. So I'm picking the Patriots to win because they have a better roster, better coach, better running game, better defense. Aaron Rodgers is great, but I don't think he can carry a mediocre roster to beat a team like the New England Patriots. Guys, that has been pick six. Again, I'll repeat it. I'm picking the Patriots to beat the Packers. I'm picking the Rams to lose to the Saints. I'm picking the Saints to beat the Rams. I'm picking the Falcons to beat the Redskins. I'm picking the Chiefs to beat the Browns. I'm picking the Steelers to beat the Ravens. And I am picking the Seattle Seahawks to beat the LA Chargers. My name is Zach Schaumler. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. It means a ton to me. This is my podcast, Strong Opinion Sports. It's my pride and joy, my favorite thing in the entire world. If you're not aware, you can subscribe to Strong Opinion Sports on iTunes, on SoundCloud, and on YouTube. You can find the full entire hour-long podcast on YouTube, as well as shorter, interesting breakouts like the one you just watched. And if you really want to help me grow, it would mean a lot to me if you shared this with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever it is. Help me grow Strong Opinion Sports by telling your friends about this show. My name is Zach Schaumler. Thank you so much, and have a great day.